Corporation case number R period R period tilde 385 tilde 460 tilde 312 colon U period S period. Dry dock treaty number colon R period R period tilde 294 tilde 568 tilde 221 colon U period S period. Global banking constitution and lease number R period R period tilde 023 tilde 986 tilde 635 colon U period S period. In April of 2003, I met with Robert Gray, head of the United Nations Postal Administration at One UN Plaza. Robert Gray and I had a conversation for about 45 minutes, where he confessed that the United Nations was a fraudulent grammar corporation with zero authorization to exist as a corporation. So at this time, as a follow-up to my border message for the Joint Chiefs of Staff and the Secretary of the Navy's office, I'm authorizing the Secretary of the Navy's office through the lease with William Ball, authorized on February 20th, 2003, to go into the Joint Chiefs of Staff and authorize a master hyphen ticket to kick the United Nations, who is funding the migration into the United States, and kick the United Nations Corporation out of an off the North American continent, as well as the non-governmental organizations have their funds seized for anyone aiding any migration across the former borderlands of the former United States and United States of America. The United Nations has zero authorization to function in administrative capacities on the North American continent. I'm authorizing the Secretary of the Navy's office through a master ticket to give closure to the Joint Chiefs of Staff, the United States Army, the United States Air Force, and the United States Marine Corps, as well as the Department of Navy to close the borderlands, to kick the United Nations off the continent of North America, and to freeze and fund each bank account that is funding the mass migration and that's trespassing across the former borderlands of the United States Inc. and the United States of America. The following guidelines of global banking constitution that the Secretary of the Navy's office has leased from me will be the roadmap on how to kick the United Nations off the continental North American continent as well as freeze the bank accounts that are funding the mass migration that are trespassing across the borderlands of the former United States and the former United States of America. The goal of the use of the Global Banking Constitution by the Secretary of the Navy's office authorization is to safeguard the citizens of the former United States of America, as well as give material readiness and logistical aid to the U.S. Pentagon to close the borders of the former United States Inc. and the former United States of America. The master tickets you will want to use paragraphs 6, 7, 11, 12, 13, 14, 17, 41, 42, 48, 49, 52, 55, 59, 62, 63, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 73, 75, 76, 77, 78, 82, 87, tilde 2, 87, tilde 2, hyphen B, 87, tilde 2, hyphen C, paragraphs 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 98, 102, 103, 113, 115, 117, 119, 129, 130, 134, 135, 136, 139, 144, 145, 159. Also use the dictionary and word terms. And after page 115, use the next 59 pages, as well as the Order of Operations Treaty, treaty Bills of the Ladings, with the U.S. Treasury, RR, 
512-605-731 US with the US Marine Corps headquarters with the US Marine Corps headquarters Quantico RR 512-605-714 US and the bill of the lading with the United Nations Postal Administration and the bill of the lading with the United Nations Postal Administration at 2 UN Plaza room DC2 hyphen 618 New York bill of the lading RR 512-605-728 US United States Postal Service Headquarters Washington DC RR 512-605-705 US Secretary of the Navy's office at the Pentagon and R period R period till the 023 Till the 986, till the 811, colon U period, S period, Comptroller of the Global Currency, colon Russell hyphen J, colon Gould, Washington, D.C., as well as the bills of the lading for the International Monetary Fund, Washington, D.C., bills of the lading for the International Monetary Fund, Paris, the bills of the lading for the World Bank, Washington, D.C., the bills of the lading for the Universal Postal Union in Bern, Switzerland, as well as the bills of the lading for the Vatican City Bank. Vatican City. This guideline, because of national security and changing out world economies, this will be a master ticket that will aid the Secretary of the Navy's office as well as the Joint Chiefs of Staff to seize the funds of the aiding of the migration that is crossing our borderlands as well as kick the United Nations Corporation off the North American continent. The goal of the master ticket is to safeguard the American citizens and give material readiness and logistical aid for the U.S. Department of Navy, as well as the Joint Chiefs of Staff, to safeguard families and the citizens that are on the North American continent from the mass migration, as well as seize the funds of those who are aiding the citizens. Because I just read off the paragraphs of the master ticket, the Secretary of the Navy's office has the paragraphs for the guidelines on how to kick the United Nations off the North American continent and freeze the funds for the mass migration for the trespassers on our lands. We must close the border. I am here to work together and give aid in my knowledge for the citizens who I love and the country that I'm born in. Give thanks that I did something to stop this. I hope this helps the Joint Chiefs of Staff make decisions and choices on how to close the borders. I'm Postmaster General, Colin Russell J. Colin Gould, Commander in Chief, and I'm out here. Blessings and Godspeed. Warfare attack that these guys had spent 200 years orchestrating had been stopped in its tracks by these guys. So the Navy immediately signed on with Russ in 2003 and we're like you're the new sovereign for the country we took a big look at that and we were like holy cow so the navy's sitting in foreign ports around the world the 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 florida chads during the 1999 florida chads the united states ceased to exist for 90 days it was done but there was an 18-day period in there where the post office was closed down there was no longer a president it was no longer a need for a middleman or a trustee anymore so the navy's sitting in foreign ports around the world with no country and russ had just taken the flag and they have no flag so they're sitting in foreign ports around the world in warships and I'm sure all the weapons were like what nation are you guys from and where's your flag at and when we went through the presidential paperwork and the congressional record this is all chronicled in the congressional record and the presidential paperwork that we had ran across for that day that we had found with what happened was that Bill Clinton was halfway around the world in Kosovo with the National Security Council at 9 a.m. in the morning, he got a phone call from here in the United States telling him that the Title IV flag had just been captured by Full Colon Russell, Hyphen J, Full Colon Gold, and Full Colon David, Hyphen Wayne, Full Colon Miller. And it was now their new flag. They had just saved the United States from a surrender and takeover of Great Britain, this orchestrated long range warfare attack that these guys had spent 200 years orchestrating had been stopped in its tracks by these guys. So the Navy immediately signed on with Russ and you've got the flag, you save the United States from surrender and takeover. 
th outstanding. No one's ever done that. And he legged in with them and uh, leased the flag to the Navy so the Navy could continue to conduct its commerce, its, its shipment, because the Navy's all shipping. So they were able to ship themselves around the world and continue to protect the United States in a defensive posture or offensively should, should uh, they need to move to an offensive posture. Um, Russell J. Gould had become quietly become the the new we we'll call him commander in chief of the North American continent, the United States, and also Canada. Uh, and it has to do with postal. So Russell took over as postmaster general here in the United States, and the Canada Post Office has always been attached to that location. So he took over as the Canada Postmaster General as well, taking command and control of the entire North American continent in the process.